The ASX's biggest company reports on August the 22nd. Hello, I'm Kyle Rodder, and in this week's Investor Spotlight, we discuss what to expect from BHP's FY23 earnings results. And of course, to help me run through it all, Danny Akuye, my colleague at Ausbiz, joins me. Danny, great to see you. Um, let's talk uh, BHP. It's, it's going to be massive. It always is. The biggest company on the ASX. And uh, well, you suggest that a lot of what we know already is around the production numbers we had recently. Absolutely. So the fourth quarter results came out on July 20th. So a lot has been flagged already for BHP in terms of production, prices achieved. So really a lot of it will come down to um, the outlook, capital expenditure and the dividend they're going to announce. But it's just worth highlighting that like Rio Tinto, these companies had an absolute bonanza of two years, 21, 2022, very high commodity prices. And that boosted BHP's earnings growth to around 37.5% over the last three years. Now, that's not going to be replicated going forward. And I think everybody, whilst it's discounted in the market, we have to always remember that, um, you know, at the end of the day, these companies are very beholden to commodity prices as well as cost controls. I guess uh, that w- is what this result will be about, is getting a sense of, well, what iron ore prices are doing uh, now and into the future and, well, maybe some other key commodities too as the business tries to shift yep. its uh, priorities. Absolutely. So they've already announced the pricing that they've actually mm. achieved. It's just worth looking at revenues are going to be down 17% uh, on full year 2022. Um, worth noting that because of the divestment of the petroleum business to uh, Woodside, you've actually got the likes of iron ore, which is going to be 57% of EBITDA as opposed to 54% the year earlier. Copper is moving up nicely to around 26% from 21%. And because of all the vagaries to do with coal production and price movements, that contribution is down to 16% from 24%. So they've actually announced in terms of their pricing, but it is worth highlighting that um, it's still very sensitive and if you get any fallout coming out of what's going on in China at the moment you will see earnings starting to come down. What are the brokers saying about the stock at the moment? Yeah so just worth highlighting because I realized I didn't answer the whole of your question Mm -hmm. the company is really shifting to very large copper production over the next few years so just worth highlighting that they're aiming to get it up from 24 percent up to around 45 percent by 2025 2026 that's investing a lot in South Australia as you are seeing um, Escondida one of the largest mines in the world Uh, you've seen grades come down and production come down Um, they're also looking to potter in the future but that won't be till 2027 so everybody if you're looking for growth there just you know put it on the back burner in terms of what's going to happen going forward well really the key thing is what's going on with China at the moment we saw iron ore prices rally strongly up to around 112 113 US dollars a ton they're back to 102 dollars a ton now obviously this Chinese developer the largest developer in China by sales country garden real estate group has got itself in a bit of a mess it's trying to restructure its debt and of course it is giving muscle memory um, or reminiscing about what happened with Evergrande when iron ore prices did fall substantially and BHP went back to $34 a share. So it's just worth highlighting that everybody is waiting to see how the Chinese authorities are going to handle their growth going forwards. Now in terms of Um, looking at the share price and what people are looking for. We've got an average share price of around $44 a share. Um, That is according to FN Marina and Refinitiv Mean, okay, an average 45 spot 26. So it's currently trading around those levels. Uh, Three strong buys, six buy ratings, eight holds, two sell, one strong sell. Um, But really, I think everybody's going to be looking towards CapEx, because there are quite some disparities in terms of that net debt position going forward um, and also the dividend that is going to be paid and of course cost controls because a lot of these resource companies have been hit with inflationary impacts there. It's going to be a big day for BHP shareholders, probably a big day for the ASX 300 broadly speaking. Danny, thank you so much for getting us it. Okay, well, that does do it for this edition of Investor Spotlight. Join in next week. We'll put another investment issue under the spotlight.